Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Drumcliff Goes Digital. We're here at Drumcliff Church in County Sligo in Ireland. My name is Sally Siggins. I am the project coordinator for this project, which is being run by Drumcliff Church Tourism Development, also known as DCTD, which you're going to hear about a lot tonight. So, folks, you're so welcome here this evening on this amazing evening, and the weather is just gorgeous. So, some of you might be sit watching this sitting outside, enjoying the bit of the summer that has finally arrived. Um, I have the iPad here, so if you do comment in, we'll try our best to say hello to you. So on that note, uh, as usual, we always tell Alan and Malcolm, make sure to subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. Make sure to like the page, whatever page you're on if you're watching us on Facebook. And then comment, let us know where you're coming in from. Um, if you are watching us outside, let us know that too. But nonetheless, we've a jam-packed evening here for you, and um, we're really looking forward to sharing this entire project with you. We're delighted to be here, as Peter said. Tonight, we're launching the new mobile app called Discover Drone Cliff and a new website called www.drunklifchurch.ie. And tonight, we have, as Peter said, too, a packed schedule mm -hmm. from local representatives to our own committee members showing their passion for Drone Cliff. And we're going to start off now with our very first video of the night coming from committee members to give you a better insight into what this launch is all about. Church and Churchyard is the most visited tourist destination in County Sligo, Ireland. Over 180,000 people have come every year up to 2020, when unfortunately the COVID-19 pandemic paused this trend. Many people over the years have come to see the grave of Nobel Prize winning poet W.B. Yeats. However, what most don't know is that Drumcliff was long established prior to W.B. Yeats' connection. Drumcliff was a strategic location on a routeway from Connacht into Ulster. Drumcliff became a major centre in early Christian times, as evidenced by the large monastery established in 574 AD by St Columba. Uh, elements of the monastery, including the round tower and high cross, are still visible today. The spirit of Christian community has continued up to the present day. This year we celebrate the 1500th anniversary of Columbus' birth and fittingly we launched this tour during this special year. Discover Drunk Cliff is a brand new mobile application which hosts a 30 minute audio guide tour of Drumcliff Church and Churchyard. Hear the amazing stories of discovery and loss as you journey through time. The local parishioners will take you back to the founding of the monastery right up to the present day in our living, working church. Hear why WB Yeats may have chosen to be buried at Drumcliff and today's burial traditions. Malcolm, tourist chaplain of the church, will bid you farewell with a prayer of blessing. The audio is currently available in five languages, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. You can download the app from the Apple iOS or Android Play Store. Please note that the church building will remain closed during the current restrictions here in Ireland. We hope that you can still enjoy the sounds and pictures of this beautiful place even from the comfort of your own home. We would ask if you visit the churchyard that you would adhere to the social distancing guidelines and be respectful of others visiting graves. We hope you will journey with us in the footsteps of many to learn about this fascinating place and discover Drumcliff for yourself. And thank you very much to our committee members for their input into that video. And you're going to hear more from the committee later in this launch programme. 
Peter, who have we watching in this evening? Well, Sally, it seems to be a jam-packed audience here this evening, just like our programme. So we have Niall Brennan. Hello to you, Niall. Alexina, good day to you. Um, Catherine Kenny, um, very nice to have you on with us. Um, to all the Greens in Castletown, you are more than welcome. Sandra Barber, very good to have you with us. Alison Wooden, more than welcome. Um, yeah, there's just so many people here. Tom Fox, Councillor Tom Fox, he's with us as well. Yes, Sally, there's lots of people watching at home. And speaking of Councillor Tom Fox, our next video is actually from local representatives in the county. We have to, in particular, mention Councillor Marie Casterly, and it's just amazing the support that she has given us over the years of the project and mm. very invaluable support, we have to say. But thank you to all of the local representatives who sent in videos. Yeah, no, definitely. So, Alan, I think if we can go on now, we'll watch those videos. Gee which I was fault your road. My name is Councillor Thomas Healy and I want to welcome you along to the launch of the Drumcliff Coast Digit. As you're aware, the Wild Atlantic Way passes by Drumcliff, the resting place of WV8. Hundreds of thousands of visitors come here every year to visit WV8 as well. I want to wish the committee the very best now and into the future and they can be assured of my help and my support as we move on. Thank you very much. Shalom go forward. Hello everyone. Donal Gilroy here, uh, councillor in the local area. Uh, very happy to be involved in doing the presentation for today for the great job done by the Drunk Cliff Church community and the wonderful work they've done to bring this app to creation. I have a long association myself with the Drunk Cliff uh, Church area. I worked in the early 1980s on an archaeological dig on this very site. So the best of luck to everyone and as chairman of the Heritage Forum I can just assure you that uh, the geophysical survey for uh, Drumcliff is one of the top priorities for the Heritage Forum over the coming two years. So again well done to everybody involved and thank you very much. Hello Tom Fox here and I'm a member of Sligo County Council and I'm delighted to be asked to say a few words here tonight uh, in relation to the launch of a new website and app um, called Discover Drumcliff. Uh, it's a new initiative by the local community and um, I'd like to congratulate all of the members of the committee who were involved and who were instrumental in putting this uh, wonderful initiative together. Um, the hub will be very useful for people who are uh, visiting the, the area, the, this vibrant uh, Drunk Cliff area, um, to learn more about the church services and to learn more about Drunk Cliff as being a, a world-class uh, tourist destination here in North Sligo. Uh, I'd like to uh, con wish everyone continued to success to the future as uh, Drumcliff goes digital. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm delighted to be invited to speak to you at today's Drumcliff goes digital launch. Today we'll see a new website launch, drumcliffchurch.ie, and a new mobile app audio tour called Discover Drumcliff. The website will function as a hub for the visitors to find out about the church services, history, and the community and tourism offering. This will allow future bookings for the on-site audio guide tour when restrictions allow. The audio tour guide the visitors whether at home or on-site around Drumcliff Church and Graveyard, from the early monastic times right up to the present day community, including of course WB Yates. The stories told on the audio give it a real authentic feel. Indeed I want to pay tribute and acknowledge the hardworking committee in bringing this project to fruition following three years of work. Their main aim is to enhance the visitor experience at Trumcliff, and I think after today's launch, there are exciting times ahead for this wonderful historic facility. I have downloaded the app, which is free, Discover Duncliff, and the good news is today is only part one of the launch. Part two will hopefully be on site, opening the kiosk, showcasing other elements of the project on site, including the heating system in the church, renovation of the vestry room, uh, the handled on-site audio tour devices which will be rented out on site for visitors, new information leaflets in 10 languages and signage for the tour itself. Finally, I want to wish you all the very best uh, of luck with the project and thank you for bringing this new experience to our county and to Drumcliff. I look forward to a visit in the coming weeks. My name is Councillor Marie Casserly and I'm from North Sligo and I'm passionate about promoting Sligo as a place to live, work and visit. One of the most important jobs for me as a councillor is to promote sustainable tourism and attract visitors back to Yates County post-Covid. 
Drumcliff is one of Ireland's most historic locations with its connections to Yeats and the Church of Ireland, extending back to St Columba. The famed Battle of the Books and its role as an ancient monastic site as a strategic location between Connacht and Ulster. The philosophy and rationale behind this project is to sustain and promote Drumcliff as one of Ireland's top visitor destinations and to bring that experience to a wider global audience while maintaining the existing peace and tranquility of the site. This project will meet the needs of local, national and international visitors and create a unique Drumcliff experience. This excellent project will create sustainable jobs as well as having an overall positive impact on tourism in County Sligo. The funded elements of the project will include multilingual audio guides packed with information told by locals, a purpose-built kiosk, upgraded staff facilities as well as smaller element, project elements to create this new experience for visitors to Drumcliff. I wish to commend the really hard-working Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Association on this fantastic project and the rural funding that they have received from LEADER. And I am proud to be associated in some small way with the positive development of this project. Now, for the eager viewers amongst you, or the people that have visited Drumcliff in recent times, you will notice that we don't have any um, signs in in the ground just yet, but they are coming soon, so, so don't, don't panic, they will be there soon. But at the beginning of this project, one of the things we identified very quickly was that, you know, we needed to tell the story of Drumcliff in multiple languages. Our tourist chaplain, Reverend Malcolm Young, is gifted in lots of ways, but he is not bilingual. And there was no way Malcolm could speak German, French, Italian, Chinese, Russian, um, and every other language you could throw in there. He just couldn't do it. So we had to figure out a way to tell our story to those people. So that's where Trevor and Connor come in from In Hand Guides. Now, what they did was they came to Drumcliff. They talked to the locals here. They talked to the people that are on the ground here. And they got a sense of the story of the place. They then put together a lovely, amazing audio tour, which I'm sure you're all going to be listening to after this evening's show. And they then translated that into multiple languages. So Malcolm's putting away the German and French books, and now he is going to be sitting back and watching as the tourists explore this amazing site in their own language. So let's hear from Trevor and Connor as they tell us a little bit more about the project and what they got out of working here with us. Trevor Winkleth here, CEO of In Hand Guides. Sally, Peter, and all the gang up in Drumcliff, many congratulations on the launch of the mobile app tour tonight. Uh, it was a pleasure working with all of you, both creating the audio guide content for the tour app and visiting what's a wonderful location. So congratulations yet again on a great local initiative. I also have to mention the setting. What a majestic setting you have the church in the graveyard nestling under Ben Bulban Mountain, where it's alleged, by the way, that the first copyright battle took place over 1500 years ago on its slope, possibly a world's first. And if you want to find out more about that, you're going to have to visit the church and graveyard, take the tour and download the app and hear the stories that we put together for what I said is a great initiative. So congratulations once again and I look forward to visiting you post-COVID. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody up in Drumcliff for one of the more memorable trips that I've taken over the years. It was quite enjoyable putting together this audio guide for a worthy cause. And I'd particularly like to mention Malcolm Young and Avril Patterson, also Jill Barber. Hope that shop will be doing when, when, you, when, you, when you can open up again. And also to Stella Duran and Patricia Cunningham for all their contributions. Not to mention Arnie and Fiona, Hazel, Niall and Peter for the technical help as well. Look, on behalf of In Hand Guides, it was one of the most exciting and interesting projects I've been involved in. And I hope that that, that is translated into the production itself, the stories that were told by everybody, by the whole community who came together. And that's what Drumcliff is about. It's a community. 
that is attracting the world to its doorstep and it has stories to tell and I hope everybody enjoys those stories. I know I did and I can tell you one thing, a minor miracle occurred during my stay. I had a very, very bad case of vertigo when I was going up to the other end of the country and I didn't like the journey up there at all. I spent one night there and the following day it was gone. So there you are, miracles can happen and uh, good luck to everybody on this project. I really enjoyed working on it. So thank you very much to Trevor and to Connor for all of their work on this project. And if you download or when you download our new app, Discover Drone Cliff, on the tracks of the audio tour, you will hear Connor's voice as the lead person uh, navigating you around the site and telling you little snippets of the story before handing on to the local storytellers. And we can't wait to have Trevor and Connor back up here to Drone Cliff when we get off the ground and get our handheld audio tours on site and working. Next up, we are going to go to uh, another very important person in this project. Um, his name is Mr. Dara O'Brien. He is from digisoft.tv in Cork, and they have been the lead contractor on this project. They um, facilitated all of the app, the website, and also some more things coming on stream soon, which Dara is going to tell you about in his short piece. So thank you very much to Dara for all his input, and I'm going to hand over to him now. My name is Dara O'Brien, and I am a client account manager here at Cork-based Digisoft. We've been working with the Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Group since the awarding of the tender and the kickoff of the project. From the outset of the tender process, it was clear that Digisoft's app-based audio guide platform, Waymigo, would be a natural fit for the group's vision and requirements. This, and Digisoft's ability to manage the delivery of a multifaceted suite of digital assets in conjunction with our partners in hand guides, Fusion Communications and Imagineer meant that the Drumcliff team had everything they needed to realise their vision for an upgraded visitor experience. In a post-Covid world, tourism will undergo a massive change to adapt to the new normal, and it is a testament to the foresight of Drumcliff Church Tourism Development that they engineered a future digital strategy to complement the existing visitor experience at Drumcliff. The Waymigo mobile app and the associated technology platform enhances the current visitor services available at the church and grounds. The visitor experience at Drumcliff is all about storytelling and the accessibility of the Waymigo multilingual audio tour across mobile platforms and on-site rental devices ensures that the stories can be absorbed not just by visitors to the church and grounds, but now also a global audience that can experience the treasures of Drumcliff virtually. The Waymigo app gives visitors the ability to explore the various points of interest at their own pace and in a language that is most comfortable for them, coupled with the reassurance of using their own mobile device. This means that they can also relive their adventure after their return home. Beyond the audio tour, the app provides useful features for the visitor, including news and events, practical visitor information, and even the ability to leave a donation to assist with the upkeep of the grounds by the volunteer group. With the group's vision to add to the facilities, we worked alongside our partners to deliver a new logo and brand identity, fresh new website, leaflet designs, wayfinding signage, engaging content and storytelling. Beyond the current delivery of digital assets and new capabilities, we look forward to working with the group on future initiatives, including 3D virtual tours and online booking facilities for coach tours and groups. Waymigo offers benefits, not just for the visitor, but also the venue operator, who has total control over the evolving digital ecosystem using the cloud-based Waymigo content management platform. Waymigo has been deployed at visitor attractions across Ireland, including Epic the Irish Emigration Museum, Chester Beatty, Molly the Museum of Literature, and Nano Nagel Place. For venues, onboarding with Waymigo could not be simpler. Operators just need to supply audio content 
and brand imagery, then leave the rest to the team at Digisoft. Should it be required, in-hand guides are an ideal partner to help with telling your story and provide translations. So we're back and uh, there's a lot of people watching live with us this evening and just to say hello to a few, hello to Joy Little and to Evelyn Kitterick, uh, a person I go to college with, actually we're doing tour guiding at the moment, nearly finished. Uh, hello to Jill Barber and Jill has been instrumental in this project, not only uh, fueling us with hot chocolates when we really needed it, um, but actually involved in the business planning and also project management. So hello also to Margaret and to Ada and hello to everyone watching around the world because we know that there's some people as far away as Canada and Australia watching in tonight as well. And we might just give away one of these fantastic jackets if you could be the furthest person away. So do comment in and let us know where you're watching from this evening. And a shout out to workwear.ie um, in Belfast for these great jackets. They arrived yesterday, just in the nick of time. So following through with our launch program this evening, we are going to go across to County Cavan to Bishop Fern Glenfield, who's the Bishop of Kilmore, Elfin and Arda, and he has a few words to say about our project. Hello, my name is Ferrin Glenfield. I'm the Anglican Bishop of Kilmore, Elfin and Arda. I'm privileged to live and work in the rich and rare land of Ireland. No more so than County Sligo, with its majestic limestone plateau, which plunges into the sea at Drum Cliff under bare Ben Bulban's head. There, between the mountain and the sea, you'll find a little church, Drum Cliff Church, which was built in the early 19th century uh, and has been the site of Christian worship for over 1500 years. But it's not an antiquity, it is a living church. The folk there are used to welcoming visitors from all over the world. Obviously during these Covid times the number of visitors has been reduced and indeed the church has been closed for much of the year. The people in Drumcliff working together as one body have been very creative and imaginative and they're using many digital platforms and i'm here to commend to you the discover drum cliff go to their new website on drumcliffchurch.ie even consider using their mobile app audio tour which will guide you around the site and the wonderful setting of drum cliff Many of you have been to Drumcliff, been inside the church and in the churchyard where the famous Irish poet W.B. Yeats is buried. His grandfather was the rector of the church there at one time in the 19th century. We would love to welcome you, but for now, if you want to discover Drumcliff, do so on these platforms. I commend that to you. When you are able to come to Ireland and when we're open, you will have a very warm Irish welcome. And until then, enjoy and God bless. Welcome back, folks. And thank you very much, Bishop, uh, for that lovely piece. Uh, your support was tremendous throughout this entire project. Um, and let's say hello to Trevor and Valerie watching in Malahide. I know you're tuning in. Also, um, Lorna and Jim Patterson watching not too far away in Drum. You are more than welcome. So this is actually a very important part of this evening's uh, proceedings. Um, we're here to talk about the committee. We are, and the committee has grown since 2016 when we first had a meeting to think about how we were going to develop tourism here on the site. And we started off with 10 members. We got another one in 2018 and we got two, believe it or not, in a, a year of pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, but everyone is part of this project. It's not just down to one person. It's a whole team effort working together. And we caught up with many of those uh, committee members over the last couple of weeks, uh, COVID compliant, of course. But uh, we got their thoughts on the project from being part of the committee to their favourite stops on the tour, what they miss most uh, through COVID times and what they're looking forward to. Yeah, completely, Sally. I actually just want to say hello as well, a big shout out to my mother, 
who's tuning in, and my sister as well. So hello, Martha and Claire. You are more than welcome. And I know you're delighted to be giving you this big shout out here on, on today's show. Um, but yes, Ali, no, the working in this committee has been, um, it's been a learning experience. It's been a great committee. I have to say, I'm on many committees and the DCTD, like people get things done. And that's absolutely amazing. That's something I really enjoyed and just seeing how we, how we pull together, even during this difficult time of COVID, even to produce this evening's show. I'll always remember uh, about three years ago, Peter was on holidays in America and mm. he Zoomed into a meeting and we never heard of Zoom. And yet here we are 12 months later having Zoom meetings every month and a fair play to all of the committee who actually managed Go Digital. Uh, and this uh, launch is a tribute to them because without their support, we wouldn't be going digital tonight. But I will not say too much more because we have lots to hear from the committee. So it's over I, to them. I think I would like to add in though, you heard it here folks first, uh, we were ahead of our time with Zoom early on. We've had Zoom for three years. You know, um, but we've, we've actually met, uh, I think it probably about 20 times a year over Zoom now for the last while, but before that I was in person for the last number of years. That's sort of work that's went into this project. So yeah, definitely let's hear from the committee members themselves and uh, let's see what they think. The diocese appointed Reverend Earl Storey in 2016 to consult with the Select Vestry to help think about strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats in regard to tourism and the balance between business and church here at Drumcliff. Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Committee was formed in 2017. The committee's vision is to sustain Drumcliff's position as one of Ireland's top visitors destinations and to bring that experience to a wider global audience while maintaining an existing peace and tranquility of our site. DCTD is a defined purpose voluntary management committee and has 13 members drawn from stakeholders, service providers and local community. You will hear now from many of our committee members who have been instrumental in bringing this project to fruition. My name is Jill Barber and I'm the one who's fortunate enough to operate a uh, Drumcliff Tea House and Craft Shop here on site. I'm also a member of the DCTD committee as well. Uh, my name's Alan Williamson and uh, I work here at Drumcliff at the Drumcliff Centre of Mission. I'm employed by Church Army who are an organisation uh, whose uh, purpose is to share faith through words and actions. And so as part of my job here I'm involved with the development of the tourist group. Uh, I serve on the committee as secretary. Uh, I'm Avril Patterson and I've been a member of the Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Group for the past three years and honoured to work alongside the committee there. Hello I'm Ronnie Lawson and I'm on, I belong to this committee, the tourism committee for Drumcliff. Um, if, if finally it's come to the stage with all the all the problems that's been in the world is starting to uh, pan out good now and it'll be open very soon. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for Drumcliff to uh, finally be have its place in the world. That is. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Keith Patterson and I'm on the Drumcliff Church Tourism Committee. Um, what I enjoy most about this project is just seeing how we've progressed from the beginning whenever uh, we sat down to kind of make plans and follow through on them and uh, one success leading to another to where we are today. Uh, Hello, my name is Malcolm Young. I'm the tourist chaplain here at Trumcliff and that involves mainly welcoming all the visitors when we have them to this site and maybe conducting some private tours or talks for people as well and just generally being a presence around the places as people come to, to visit with us. And I've been a member of the Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Committee since 2018. Hello again, you might remember me from earlier on in today's video. My name is Peter. Hi everybody, I'm Julie. 
So the tourism project is something that started years ago and I've always been really passionate about tourism here at Drumcliff. And I suppose my favourite thing is about seeing all the stories of Drumcliff come together in an all-encompassing guide that is translated into multiple languages. And that is something that really excites me, but also I think it's going to excite me a lot when I see visitors going around, learning about the stories of Drumcliff, the history of Drumcliff, and then leaving with uh, complete knowledge of this ancient and exciting site. Uh, my name is Arnie Griffin. Um, I'm a blow-in to Drumcliff Parish, but 45 years of blow-in. And I only joined this committee after they were well established. But I found them a terrific bunch, and they really are trying to get things done for this group of parishes. Hi, my name is Isaac Hanna. I'm the rector of this parish, and I'm also uh, chair of the, the tourism group that set up this initiative. Good evening, my name is Niall Brennan. I'm a parishioner of Drumcliff Church and also a volunteer on the organising committee for Drumcliff Tourism Group. And I'm very pleased to be part of that group. My role was assisting the guys in looking at cash flow expectations and profit and loss and stuff like that. So I thoroughly enjoyed the preparation work and bringing it to the church for sign off time. missed as have a lot of people the face-to-face -face interaction that's been the big one uh, that I've missed because of Covid and I look forward to uh, going back to that more so. I just think it's so sad to see the whole place closed down as you know even to today so many people locals from Sligo within the county are out of the church are looking to get in and it's so sad to see the doors closed and unable to let those people in. Well, COVID has had a massive impact here with us, um, especially um, here in the tea house, as well as uh, the tourist uh, footfall. What I miss most since lockdown is coming to church on a Sunday morning, um, and the peace and tranquility of the church, um, and also popping down during the week and getting a cup of chilled coffee. That's a serious miss in the last few months. The thing I've missed most is meeting people. Most of the things I do are now on hold and I get through in Zoom, but really it's not quite the same as actually meeting people in various places. In various the key places. thing that I've missed uh, as a result of the, the COVID restrictions has been uh, meeting the people here and seeing uh, them enjoy what we have as a daily reality and that's the beauty and the specialness of this place. So I'm a parishioner here in Drumcliff and I've really enjoyed uh, watching the committee bring this project to life and I know they've all worked extremely hard to bring this project together so it's very exciting. Um, I think my favourite part of the tour is probably uh, internally learning about the church because it actually surprised me how much I learned about the church that I worshipped in that I didn't know before and there's um, so much history and it's really exciting to hear more about each piece as we move around the church. Well, as you'll see, the entire tour is very informative and it's um, a huge achievement for us all here. Um... My favourite part of the audio tour is that it brings people into the church building and while they're here, it encourages them to sit or to take a moment uh, to be still and just to soak in the presence of God here. And I think that's probably my favourite part of the entire tour. And in our current times where being on site is not a possibility, I think that uh, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, it gives you an opportunity to just take a moment uh, to encounter something of God uh, through your experience of the tour and uh, your experience of this site. I don't really have a favourite um, stop. I think that the, all the 12 stops you know, really come together to paint the whole picture of Drumcliff. The church has been a huge part of my life. Baptised here, confirmed here, married here, my children were all christened here. Uh, my favourite bit of the tour is this piece of high cross that was put into the wall. Now today we put them up on a stand and we'd have it on an exhibit, but they thought we won't waste it, we'd stick it into the wall, it's a nice piece of stone. And I believe there's some other pieces stuck into other walls, but that's my favourite bit. The thing that I'm looking forward to going forward uh, as this project develops here in Cliff is that 
our aspiration to provide people with the greatest hospitality that we can offer and enhance their experience of the place will, will just simply grow and grow and that as people leave this place um, that experience won't leave them, it will stay with them. And one of the things I hope this project brings about is an opportunity for those that aren't here, that aren't able to visit us right now, to download the app and to enjoy it from their home. And then when it is safe to do so, to come here to Drumcliff and to experience everything we have to offer here on the site. So that's one of my hopes and wishes for this new project. After Covid has lifted a bit, I hope that we'll have these tours running and people will be welcomed here from all over the world where they do come from. Um, hundreds of thousands of people come to do this site and it would be wonderful if they could come around and get a little bit know more about it rather than just a bit on Yates. I think uh, what I'm really also excited about is that actually um, the whole experience here of the audio guide that we're launching tonight and, and all the other things that are developing and happening gives people a much richer and deeper experience of the place. Uh, and, and an opportunity to see it as more than just a historic site or a historic building. I'm most looking forward in the next few months to the return of local, national and international visitors to Trimcliffe Church and to your continued support now and in the future. Discovery to discover how you can just lift your mobile and, and, be, and be carried off to, to this beautiful place and hopefully someday that'll, that'll inspire you to come and visit in person. For those of you that are local to Drumcliff, it is our hope that you're able to experience at least the outdoor part of the tour and then in time as restrictions permit, the inside and complete Drumcliff experience. You would also have noticed the kiosk that we've installed outside the church building. This kiosk is going to be a point of contact for everyone visiting Drum Cliff for information but also for the rental of on-site tour guide devices. In the meantime you can discover Drum Cliff from the comfort of your own home by downloading the app. Well, there you are, folks. That is the amazing committee, DZTD. Um, thank you to all the members that recorded those short pieces here in the church. Um, absolutely brilliant to see. Um, Sally, you mentioned earlier on these jackets. They are very, very good. Uh, yep, there we are. Like, they arrived yesterday. Well, we want to thank Jonathan. Um, he actually put together, Jonathan, he was in Fusion Graphics Design down in Cork. He put together our logo. And, you know, it is a I have to say, it's a very nice logo. Would you agree, Sam? Absolutely. It even gets the crows in, which have been a feature of many of the videos. Yeah. So far, it's nice. The crows are a bit noisy, but they look nice in the picture anyway. We have to, we have to say that. Um, so, Sally, we actually have uh, another person to introduce. Is that right? We do. Uh, we have Councillor Dara Mulby, who's the current Cahirlock of Sligo County Council, and he's also the chairman of the Sligo LCDC. And the LCDC in Sligo administered the rural development funded programmes in Sligo. And we are very lucky to be one of those programmes because we were funded 75% of this project mm. by LEADER and that amounted to €122,000, which were allocated in 2019. And it seems a long time ago, uh, but it took a lot of work to get where we are today. And this is only two parts of the whole project. And in time to come, we hope that we will have an on-site launch as well, where all of you at home can come along and hear us talking and hear everybody else talking. And we have builders and contractors and people who made kiosks and mm. people who put in heating systems and whatnot who will be coming along to that launch when it comes. But for now, we are going to go to Councillor Dara, who came down to Drumcliff during the week and recorded this great video um, complimenting us on our funded project. On behalf of Sligo LCDC, I would like to congratulate Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Group on the official launch of their new mobile application, audio tour and website for Drumcliff Church. LEADER is a community-led approach to local development, funded through Ireland's Rural Development Programme 2014-2020. Sligo LCDC 
is the local action group for the delivery of the leader programme. A committee of Sligo County Council, the LCDC consists of representatives from statutory and non-statutory agencies in our county. A budget of 7.6 million was available for implementation of the programme in Sligo up to December 2020. In addition, 2.26 million has been allocated to Sligo under the Transitional Leader Programme 21 to 22, with Sligo County Council as the financial partner and Sligo Leader as the implementing partner. On May the 30th, 2019, Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Group was approved funding by Sligo LCDC for this rural economic development project to the sum of €122,805. Projects are selected for funding based on the objectives outlined in Sligo's local development strategy. These objectives come within a range of defined themes that include enterprise development and job creation, the development of rural towns, social inclusion and the environment. In funding the Drumcliff Church Tourism Development, it was felt that the project embodied the Rural Development Programme theme of rural economic development through enterprise, job creation, culture and heritage tourism. Sligo LCDC acknowledges the ongoing work of the Drumcliff Church Tourism Development Group. As project promoter, in working closely with the local community, in achieving this great facility for the mutual benefit of tourists and of all the community. We look forward to seeing this energy being harnessed well into the future. The new mobile application, audio tour and website for Drumcliff Church is an essential asset to enable tourism to grow and develop well into the future. I look forward to seeing tourist engagement enhanced at this iconic cultural destination in Sligo. I wish you the very best of good luck and thank you. Thank you very much Dara for that um, lovely talk. So as I'm sure many of you know, a project like this, it, it takes funds as Sally alluded to earlier on. Um, and here in DCTT, we actually put up 25% of the project, which is approximately 30,000 euro. So what we're going to ask is that if you've enjoyed today's show, or if you've listened to the audio tour, and you found it a value of benefit, or you just, you just want to donate something to help us keep the lights on and, and keep sharing the story of John Cliff to the hopefully countless thousands of visitors that will return as we move out of restrictions, we'd really appreciate that. So there's actually a link down below and yeah, Julie has put a link down below on the Facebook and in uh, a few short minutes we will have a link also on the YouTube page where I know a lot of you are watching this mm -hmm. evening we have people as I said coming in all over the world donations are really important to us here in Drumcliff we need money to, to keep everything moving um, and although we are essentially not for profit we want to see the tourism facilities here developed over time. That's our main aim in DCTD. Uh, we have 13 strong voluntary committee members mm. and those people give their time and we're asking you to give a small amount of money, as little as five euro, to help us further develop the site here. Hopefully add more languages to our audio tours. Currently five languages, we'd love to have offered up to 10 languages and other, other ways. You can give um, on our new website, www.drunklifechurch.ie forward slash support us. Um, and you can also do a donation through our new mobile app, Discover Drunklif. And you're gonna hear a really short piece uh, from the committee about how your donations help us and how you can do that. While most people cannot come to Drumcliff in person at the moment, we would be delighted if you would take this tour at home from downloading our free app 
Discover Drumcliff. We have decided due to the COVID-19 pandemic to offer the app for free, but we would ask that if you enjoy the audio tour and would like to help us further develop the tourism facilities and help preserve the Drumcliff Church for future generations, that you would consider donating as little as five euro to support us. You can donate via the Discover Drumcliff mobile app on our new website, www.drumcliffchurch.ie. If you are watching this live streamed event, the link to donate via the website will be in the comments section below. We really appreciate your support and we can't wait to welcome you all to Drumcliff. So anything you can give folks is greatly appreciated. I'm just looking through the comments here. Uh, Jill says, this production is an absolute credit to us both, but you know it wouldn't have been possible without the team, and we have a team of people helping make sure this all runs smoothly behind the scenes. So thank you very much to, to Malcolm, to Alan, and to Julie for making this possible tonight for you at home. Uh, Catherine Kenny, she is a name I know well, and she's actually very excited to come visit us here in Drumcliff. She's a fan of other content we put out, like Thursday Chats. So Catherine, we would love to have you here when we're up and open and uh, restrictions allow, we'd be absolutely delighted um, to welcome you and welcome people from all around the world. Yeah, we can't wait to welcome people here. That's as you've seen through the committee's videos. And I was behind the camera for most of them. I'm in front of it tonight. Uh, but I think we all miss seeing people and we all miss people being here on site and we can't wait for the COVID restrictions to relax and become a safe place for people to come and visit. And we're coming towards the end of this launch this evening and we have an Irish blessing from Venerable Isaac Hanna, who's the rector here and the chairman of this committee called DCTD. And it's just fitting um, because of this site being a Christian site for the last 1500 years that we would in some way uh, pay tribute to that spirit by this video. So can I, uh, just in conclusion, as you reach the end of this launch uh, of our project, thank you for tuning in and uh, can I wish you every uh, blessing uh, wherever today finds you and uh, hopefully when we do open up again, do plan to come along to Drumcliff to experience in reality what you've seen virtually. So I'm going to conclude our uh, time together by using an ancient Irish blessing which will maybe be familiar to some of you and it focuses on journey. And so may the road rise up to meet you, may the wind be always at your back, may the sun shine warm on your face and the rain fall soft on your fields and until we meet again May God hold you in the palm of his hand. Now, thank you very much for that. So when I actually, we spoke about earlier, Sally, when I was church warden here, one of the things I loved about Drumcliff was just, you know, when you came here to lock up in the evening, you never knew who you could meet. Um, and I often find Drumcliff is a place where often in the world you have to go out to the world to meet people, whereas here you sit here and people come to you. So, yeah, we cannot wait to see people coming here again in the near future, hopefully, um, completely. No, we can't wait to have people coming back. But in the meantime, as Peter said in one of the videos, we really want you to take this tour at home. It's called Disco Discover Drumcliff. Uh, and you will find it on all of the app stores. It's all around the world, no matter where you are. Uh, if you don't have somebody at home that can show you how to do it, contact us on our website and we'll certainly do our best to help you get online and to get uh, go digital as we are tonight. We have lots of people to thank and it's gonna to be too hard to name them all out, but one person in particular is uh, Brenda O'Callaghan and she allowed us to use the music tonight. So all the music in the background that you've heard is part of the Column Kill 1500th anniversary and there were pieces composed by Michael Rooney. And I think they were just completely fitting to us tonight in this year 
that is celebrating 1500 years since Columbus' birth. And again, it's fitting that we are launching our app because, of course, the monastery gets a great mention there as well. Yes, and you were saying, Sally, there is too many people to thank. But I, on behalf of DCTD, would like to thank you, Sally, for putting this together. I came in here this evening. I did the IT, the cameras and so forth. But Sally organized the running order and she had a big sheet with the running order in front of it. And that is, I think we can all say, has been a success. So Sally, well done and thank you. No problem, thank you. And thank you to everyone who's watched at home tonight. We're delighted to see so many people watching. If you're watching back later, still drop us a comment. Yeah. Let us know if you download or when you download the <laughs> Discover Drumcliff app. Do let us know what you think of it. We're always uh, making adjustments to things. Um, and of course, if you know anybody who speaks French, German, Italian or Spanish, uh, make sure and send the link on to them as well, because we want people not just in Ireland or not just in English speaking countries, but across the world to take part and to discover Drumcliff at home. Yeah, so folks, I think that brings us near the end of the show. Um, all we can say is really we look forward to welcoming you personally to Drumcliff in the very near future. Well, thank you very much. I think it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. So, good night. <laughs>